A royal fan who works for Amazon has spilled the tea about Harry's memoir. Accordingly, Amazon gets a lot of these books being sent back to them. It's not surprising at all, since many reported they received two copies when they'd only ordered one. And with the book contents being dull and plodding, the originally ordered copy may as well go in the returns box too. Even Lady C got two copies when she ordered hers. Same thing happens with many people. There's going to be a tsunami of those things being returned. That'll be the ice cream on top of the humiliation pie that is spare. Moreover, there's a new report that says Harry's new memoir has only sold 30 copies at a Montecito bookstore. According to The Guardian, the owner of Montecito's Tecaloti bookshop, Mary Sheldon, said that she sold around 30 copies of Harry's controversial book. The Guardian even put it this way, even in a town that refuses to fuss over its many celebrity residents, the lack of buzz over a book that's flying off the shelves and dominating conversation just about everywhere else on the planet is remarkable. That said, the book is breaking records elsewhere. That's because Spare is selling out in countries all over the world. It sold nearly 64,000 copies in Australia in the first week, breaking a previous record of 45,000 copies sold. The book has now sold 120,000 down under. In Germany, it's dominating the best sellers list with the German edition, reserving the number one spot and two English editions rounding out the top three. The 100,000 books sold has it on track to be the best selling non fiction book in a decade. If that wasn't enough, Spare sold a whopping 467,183 print copies throughout the UK in its first week of release, making it number one on the book charts. Penguin added that the book has sold 750,000 copies in the UK across all formats, including hardbacks, ebooks, and audiobooks, within the first week as well. If that wasn't enough, Guinness World Records has confirmed that Spare was the fastest selling non fiction book ever on the first day of publication. Talk about a reason for Harry to celebrate, right? Prince Harry seems to want revenge, a royal commentator said after reading the Duke of Sussex's memoir, explaining he thought releasing the 416-page memoir titled Spare was a bad idea. A royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said upon appearing on RNZ's podcast Nights with Karen Hay. So, you wonder, launching a memoir was always, I thought, a bad idea. Even the Duke of Windsor, 15 years after the abdication, he published The King's Story. But this was a completely different era, and the book, although it caused some controversy, was nothing like this. These are direct, fierce, vengeful attacks on the royal family. He seems to want revenge. Also, the word spare, overshadowed by his brother, the heir and the spare, was always bitter. But I don't think anyone thought the book would be quite as vengeful and angry as it actually is. Mr Fitzwilliams also wondered what the long-term goal of the Sussexes is after they've launched a series of criticism and claims against the royal family between December and early January. This comes as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex published a 24-page report of their Archwell Foundation launched in late 2020. The foundation is the non-profit arm of Meghan and Harry, via which they carry out charitable work as well as support and promote initiatives focused on veterans, mental health, and communities among the work done by Archwell 